like she said, we just met uh, a few weeks ago, um, and we were coming together um, for the same reasons, and we had the same goals. So, so I thought uh, this would be a perfect time to come and, and share a little bit about what we know about our own, our culture and our um, Anishinaabe way of life, and also a group that we have started in our community. Um, uh, so. That's what we'll do today. You're you're all very welcoming. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so my name is Carla Patagus. Um I'm one of the the I guess uh, group coordinators. Um, there's myself, Lisa, and another uh, person. She's not can't be here tonight. Her name is Jessica. So we came together um, in February and, and met because we were kind of like concerned about what's happening with like the land in the Sudbury District area. And we were kind of motivated by the recent movement of the I Don't Know More. So um, bringing it closer to home, we were notified of uh, some arsenic uh, contamination that is happening in the Long Lake area. And it, it touches our watershed. So it kind of really hits uh, closer to home for us as a community. But our group is not just, um, a group that is brought together for a Tikmik Shing people. Like Sudbury is a big area and there's a lot of people who care about their home and what happens to the land around them. So our group is open to pretty much anybody of any nation. It's not specific to Aboriginal um, First Nations people because um, a lot of these issues are not just happening in this area. We've heard it on the media that it's happening in South America, it's ha happening in Africa, in Australia, happening in Australia. So um, yeah, that's just a little bit about how we came together. And um, so we have some goals and visions that we came up with as a group. And one of our main goal is to be to unite the people. So that would be like our, our own community plus the extended um, community of Sudbury and Hammer and wherever uh, in the surrounding land. And to protect the land because we need our land to sustain life and uh, also to embrace culture and language because we all come from different walks of life and we all have different cultural backgrounds. So we want to include that as a part of our group so that, you know, we don't want to create, I guess, like a, like a block. <laughs> you know, we want people to feel welcome. And um, we want to promote living a good way of life, you know, and um, that's kind of like where our vision is, like, headed to. Um, yeah. So the, the group is called Ambe Zagda Eshkagamekwe, which translates to Let's Love, Her Let's Love Mother Earth. Um, so one of our, 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 one of our values is really learning, learning about our, our way of life, the way we lived um, traditionally. Uh, and the way we can learn that is through our language. So our language, each sound almost has its own meaning and it can be put together with other sounds to create a whole another word, a whole another meaning. So uh, language is one of our, one of our top priorities to, to learn and through that we would learn our own culture and our own uh, way of life and doing things. So uh, I'm sure some of you have heard of a few of the, few of the things that uh, some of our um, ways of life and uh, kind of concepts that are you probably see in a lot of places which kind of is happening right now is almost like a circle. So that's one of our biggest values is a circle is that um, even you, when you are in a circle, it's, you should be able to see everybody equally. Like nobody should be behind or nobody should be forward. It's you can see everyone. You're all the same. You're all, we're all the same. We're, we all come together for, for the same purpose. And we all have our own um, thoughts that are valid. So, uh, so stemming from the circle is the medicine wheel. Have anyone seen the medicine wheel before? So the medicine wheel, there's so many teachings in that, and um, one is the directions, uh, which is just representing all walks of life, all directions. 
uh, but I thought we would share just a little bit about the medicines that are in in the in, in the medicine wheel. Does anybody know what the the medicines are in the medicine wheel? What are they? Tobacco and yeast. Tobacco. Sweetgrass. Sweetgrass. Sage. Sage. Mm-hmm. And cedar. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, my work's done. <laughs> But um, just learning just a little bit of it kind of pulls you in and wants, you want to learn just a little bit more. And um, for me, I, like, I grew up on the reservation, um, but I, my parents didn't know my language, didn't know the language. So it's really up to, to the younger generations, even though we're kind of getting up there, yeah. uh, <laughs> to, to learn and, but also embrace other cultures and embrace other people. So. Um, that's kind of, and from that is one of our values is family. It's, it's really huge, is family. And it's having that family kind of feeling, whether you're anywhere, whether you're at work, whether you're, you know, at home, or right here, right now, where we all have, we could all treat each other like we're family. That's, that's the big thing, is treating each other like a brother or sister, or someone that is dear to us. Because that's how things, can, good things can be done. Um, so, um, with that, uh, we had we had established objectives too as a group, as a core group, and um, like we like we've been mentioning, we want to establish relationships with our neighbors. So that might be like our neighbor beside us, or our neighbor, you know, outside of our boundary. Um, we want to focus on education. Like um, I heard the last gentleman was talking about. Um, social activism and things like that so in that you know we want to be a part of other groups that do this that are wanting to do the similar uh, wanting to do similar things you know um, because that's how we're going to unite people and that's how we're going to be strong that's how Occupy Sudbury is going to get the support from from us as a group and that's how um, we as a unit can pull together and get that accomplished um, also uh, as a group, if you're wanting to know more about leadership outside of the Indian Act, um, this is one of our uh, one of our big things too. Is that it is a piece of legislation that has restricted um, our people for a very long time, since like 1867. So, as the young people are getting older and they're becoming more educated and they're learning about all these new things, um, they're wanting to come away from that. So. <coughs> hear in the media about the nation to nation uh, agreements like that aren't being upheld and things like that so a- another part of our group is to kind of get that message out there about why there's a focus on the nation to nation rather than well why don't they just stick to the Indian Act kind of thing like because we want people to know what that's all about too so part of what we're doing in our group is to educate people about why there's a push for the nation to nation agreements and um, yeah, because um, there's a lot of land claims in Canada, and um, it uh, it affects each and every reserve, and it also affects outside of the reserve as well. So, um, and we want to encourage people to be self motivated, which was another one. So, with all that, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.